cool earbuds, but there's a story behind them. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm looking at these. Well, let me open the case up and let me take one of them out. These are the Recho or Re-Echo Audio Echo Week True Wireless Stereo Earbuds, and they're pretty good little units, but there's quite a story behind them. Now, let's start with the specs. So first off, they feature balanced armature drivers and have 10 to 20,000 hertz frequency response. They run at Bluetooth 5.0 and they're available in seven colors. Here's an example of some of the colors, sort of. We'll come back to that. Three sizes of ear tips and wing tips, all in the box. I shall show you. The box contains a variety of different things and it's not an incredible nightmare to open unlike many of them. So let's see, I'll put this stuff aside. You can see there's lots of earbuds and stuff in here that come out. <laughs> Turns out that there are three ear tips and three wingtip sizes. So I'm gonna just make these neat for a second here. And as with any of these devices, it is super important to spend the time to make sure you have the right size ear tips for your ears. It makes a massive difference in the sound. Although not so much with these, but again, we'll come back to that. So, they are IPX6 waterproof, though the case is not waterproof, it's just the earbuds. Um, and they have 48 hour battery life, which is very impressive. The earbuds themselves run for six hours on a charge and you can get seven to eight additional charges off the base, which is actually very impressive. They auto pair, so if I take them out and put them in my ears, by the time they've traveled the journey to my ears, left channel, right channel, and I'm already paired up with my phone. It's easy enough, right? And you can use the earbuds independently. So if you want to use one for phone calls while the other one's charging, it'll figure all that out for you. So, you know, given all that, and then what's the issue? Well, here's the issue. The issue is this was an Indiegogo campaign and they had a really nice deal. They had it on all those different colors. And then when they got to manufacturing, they did really well on Indiegogo, but then when they got to manufacturing, they said, oh, turns out making the earbuds those different colors is not so easy. So they, to be fair, posted on their Indiegogo campaign that they were gonna just do black earbuds and they're gonna upgrade the cases. So if you notice the photo I showed earlier had sort of a plasticky case. This is a gorgeous metal case. I really like the case. It has a really nice feel to it. And you can see there's sort of an aluminum edge around the top and stuff, very attractive. But boy, are there a lot of people frustrated with this company because they wanted the blue case and the blue earbuds or the orange case and the orange earbuds. And what do you get? You get the black earbuds regardless of what color you chose. So a lot of people not very happy with this. Now, here's the other thing is that I don't know whether this is tuned for an international listening audience or what, but I found that it had fairly little bass response. So it was very oriented to the high end, which didn't sound that great. I mean, I guess for like audiobooks or for podcasts, these would be perfectly serviceable. But there's so many in this price range. There's so many of these TWS true wireless stereo earbuds that do offer good bass that it was missed. It was disappointing. I was not super impressed. I mean, they're good. These are decent enough. If you want to get wireless earbuds that sound good, you know, these are a viable option. But if you want wireless earbuds that sound amazing, then there's some other choices on the market at the same price range that might be a better fit for you. So, you know, no real latency issues. If you want to watch video, you can make phone calls with it. In fact, here's all the tap sequences if you want to do that. You know, when I made phone calls, people were saying, eh, yeah, sound okay. You know, it's very typical when you have your microphone all the way up here and you're speaking down here and projecting this way, then inherently it's not going to sound fantastic, but it was serviceable. Certainly they sounded okay because again, it's sort of uh, maybe even tuned to the higher end frequencies. So voice sounded good. So given all that, you know, <laughs> 
not really hugely recommending these and that's how it goes so i will say the case looks really cool i feel like if they can just do one more generation of of um work on these then they can really get it right maybe put in some better drivers or something but here's the thing if you were an early 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 bird on indiegogo and you backed these you got a pair of wireless earbuds for 29 dollars now, at the time, they said that retail was going to be $119. Doing a little more research, it looks like $89 is more likely to be retail, but they're kind of ghosting their customers a little bit too because <laughs> their site even lists on the box. Their site is reechoaudio.com, and you go there, and it's just in Chinese, and it lists products, and this is not one of the products it shows. I don't know what to say. So I will say that, like I said, <laughs> you know, there's all the pieces you need to put together to make some really nice wireless earbuds here, but I don't think they've got it right. Um, I suppose I should say micro USB charging on the base. They have a charge indicator on the inside once you put the earbuds in, which you can't see when it's closed, obviously. A, you know, pretty typical bit of engineering mistake, but so it goes. Um, they got a little rubberized base on here, so the case is nice. I mean, this is a really nice case. And seven to eight full charges, that's great. So it's kind of these that are an issue. And of course, the whole color thing is just a real fail. I just got to say, if I was a customer and I had backed this expecting to get orange or pink or blue or red or whatever actual earbuds, this would be really disappointing. Yeah, things happen. And whenever you back uh, one of these Kickstarter or Indiegogo or other crowdfunding systems, then there's always a risk involved. So it's not a crisis, but it's just disappointing. So, you know, to then get these and then find that they're not great audio either. Well, you know, sometimes you hit a home run, as we say in America. Sometimes you hit a home run on Indiegogo or Kickstarter. And other times you look at it and you say, well, you know, the opportunity was there. The possibility was there. But what I got, well, not quite what I was hoping for. So now, before I wrap up, let me ask if you, yes, you watching this can subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate when you do that. Thank you. Now, if you ordered these or if you backed this on Indiegogo, leave a comment. Let me know what happened, whether you got your unit, what color it was, whether you were disappointed or whether you think the sound is really good. Who knows? Maybe some people out there are really happy. But generally, if you go to the Indiegogo site and you look at their page and you look at the comments from their backers, my sort of sentiment analysis is that this is not actually <laughs> a super positive group and understandably. So, okay. I don't even know if you can buy these retail. I can only say that the Re-Echo Audio Echo Week True Wireless Stereo Earbuds, there's parts that are cool, there's parts that aren't so cool. If you want to do your homework, you can poke around and you can see what you can find. But there's so much in this space that there are plenty of other options to check out. So that is all I got. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.